On June 7th, Clark County Animal Protection and Control and volunteers with the Adopt-A-Horse program helped rescue five neglected horses. The operation was recorded on video. So we're doing an impound on some horses. There's five of them. It's a neglect situation. Um, and we're, right now we're trying to get a hold of this baby. Easy, easy, easy. We don't want to go in front. The complaint came in about 10 days ago. Um, we made contact last Friday and then it just takes you four or five days to hustle up enough volunteers to pull something significant like this uh, together. You know how to step up? There, there's a lot we can tell about their health pretty quickly. Um, a couple of these horses had some heart murmurs. Obviously several of them are quite underweight, things like that that we can kind of help guide the new foster homes on how to take care of them and how to rehabilitate them. People think, oh, I've got some property, I can throw my ha horse out there, it'll be fine, it'll eat the grass, but, you know, look at the property here and how it's quite a big piece of land. There's not a blade of grass that was in the paddock where the horses are. They need to be fed, they need to have good veterinary care, their feet need to be trimmed regularly. Most of these horses here have not been trimmed at all, um, which is another concern for their health and well-being. The horses have been here anywhere between 2 and 20 years, uh, based upon their age and what the owner's telling us, and just life got away from him and, and the horses um, suffered. We've been dealing with a lot of uh, high heat these last weeks, and um, that combined with the lack of, of available feed on the ground for them um, helped lead them to this point in their diminishing health. The, the baby is extremely um, attached to the mother and scared, obviously, lots of strangers, lots of uh, touching and things that she's not familiar with. Never been loaded before. Um, thankfully we've got a lot of professionals here doing it the right way. So mom's going in first with the thought that, as you can see, baby will just fall straight in. Perfect. This is one day's activity, but it's about two, three weeks of, of lining it all up. And then we've got months of expenses thereafter to get these horses rehabilitated and into a good foster home and actually adopt it back out. All that carries a cost that your pet licensing help pays for. So we're in about 50 days. It, the improvements are just dramatic. We basically have before pictures, really good before pictures at seven days and it's just incredible. And they had already put on a substantial amount of weight just in a week of constantly having them fed in water and vet care. The mayor, Mariah, was pregnant at the time of the rescue. With the proper treatment she has been given, they're expecting a healthy foal. There were other challenges too. We've been teaching these guys actually how to live in and out of stalls. Um, they were all outside and that's, that's a very difficult transition. So hands-on, all of the brushing, the grooming, special feed and care, uh, medications, <laughs> definitely gain their trust. Um, two of the four we believe had probably never seen human contact. So being able to have halters on them, fly masks, things like that, that takes some work. There are more than 30,000 horses in Clark County. With the downturn in the economy in 2008, there was an uptick in horse neglect. To get these horses back on healthy hooves and in new homes, volunteers started the Adopt-A-Horse program, which takes in and cares for horses turned over to the county. We're beyond our 150th horse now, which is, doesn't sound like a lot. You know, 150 dogs is probably a good quarter's worth of dogs for us, but over a nine years period of time, 150 horses is a lot of horses. But a horse had a lot more responsibility than a dog. And here we are today to show you how good care, good feed, um, loving, responsible owners can take care of you in the most dire situations. Adopt-A-Horse program volunteers have been very successful at restoring the health of neglected horses and placing them in new, loving homes. One of their ongoing challenges is covering the cost. Caring for horses properly takes resources. We're always open for donations. We do tax sales several times a year. And then we're also looking for alternative ways of raising funds just because these cases are very expensive. They don't come to us in good shape. And so it takes a lot of food, energy, vet care, farrier care to get everything put back together. To try to keep horses with their owners, Clark County and volunteers established a hay bank and service vouchers for short-term assistance. Cheapest way for us to handle a situation like this is to never have the situation happen. Please give us a call sooner rather than later. 
If you're having problems caring for your horse, get a hold of us, let us know. This is a great program, but our hope is to not have to have the horses here. And I would say, if you can't adopt, foster. If you can't foster, volunteer. And if you can't volunteer, you can always donate. And those are definitely ways that you can help us do what we do to help keep these horses in good shape and, and on, the, on the path to recovery. For their efforts to help horses in need, the volunteers in the Adopt a Horse program receive our personal best. To donate and learn more about the Adopt a Horse program, visit adoptahorseprogram.org or go to their Facebook page at Adopt a Horse Program. To report animal cruelty, go to the Clark County Animal Protection Control webpage at clark.wa.gov pets or call 397-2488.